Theater, and welcome to the exciting world of hip. Hey, good morning. It is Tuesday, February 7th, 2012. I'm Andrea Jackson with your Daily Buzz wake up call. Hundreds are dead in Europe as the deep freeze continues with one of the worst snowstorms to hit in two decades. Side note for the Netherlands, if the freeze continues, the 11 cities tour ice skating marathon could be staged later this month for the first time in 15 years. Here at home, people are talking about Josh Powell, the father who committed suicide and took his two sons with him in a fiery end to a drama involving his missing wife, Susan. The boys were telling lawyers she might have been in the trunk of the family car, and Josh's dad has been locked away on child porn charges and voyeurism, the latter involving a creepy secret affair with daughter-in-law Susan. While the feds are still denying there's a link between 9-11 first responders and an increased risk of cancer, new study begs to differ. Around 300 NYPD officers have been diagnosed with the Big C, and 56 have died. More news by the numbers. Super Bowl 46 was the most watched Super Bowl of all time and the most watched U.S. TV show of all time, scoring 111 million viewers with Madonna's halftime show reaching 114 million. And country star Randy Travis has a new mug shot to add to his portfolio. He was busted for being drunk in public outside a Texas church. That is your Tuesday morning Daily Buzz Wake Up Call. I'm Andrea Jackson. I'll ring you in the morning. Be good.